It has been a year and a half since the Supreme Court reversal of Roe v. Wade overturning the constitutional right to abortion. And since then, at least 21 states have either banned or restricted abortion access, leaving expectant mothers with difficult and sometimes harrowing decisions about medical emergencies. In a new episode of ABC News Studios, Impact by Nightline, ABC senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott looks at the state of care right now. Here's a preview. A room full of women with searing stories of trying to get medical care, but state laws have tied their doctor's hands. The stories will break your heart. Risk for blood clots, infections. Every single one of my son's organs were growing outside of his body. Torture. That is no. torture. That That's is monstrous. Torture. Missing the skull. Women and doctors sounding the alarm that something has to change. Is 25% chance of death, is that, is that enough? Does she have to have a 75% chance of death. Who gets to decide? You're not fatal enough you're, or, you're, or you're not sick enough. It's like, in what world are we living in right now? Many of their husbands also felt the urgent need to be here, calling on men across the country to join in protecting pregnant women fighting to live. Can things change without the support of men? No, no. no. Imagine if this continue to keep going and we don't step up as men, it's going to be a lot of casualties. A lot of women are going to die. A lot of us feel like the protectors of the family. And then now we have outside sources telling us how to be fathers. It's not only a girl's dream to have a child. It's, it's also our dream. It affects the whole family. It does. Rachel yeah. Scott is here with us, and you have been covering this every step of mm -hmm. the way before Roe v. Wade was overturned, when and after. What are you hearing from these women now? You know, when I first started covering this issue, doctors warned that women would be hurt and that maybe these exceptions don't account for the woman's health. And so we started hearing the stories of maybe just one woman. And the longer that Diane and I reported on this, the more women that we found that ended up in this very same scenario. But I think it's important to note here that the ripple effects are extremely far reaching. Doctors are leaving these states now. They've seen a drop in OBGYN applicants in these states with restrictive abortion bans. So the impact on the healthcare system as a whole is extremely far reaching. So what surprised you most about your conversation with these 18 women? Just how much this story impacts them. How much so many of them felt like they could get access to the care that they needed. Kate Cox, this 31-year-old woman who challenged the state of Texas for this emergency abortion, it was never even a thought in her head that she could, she could not get access to that medical emergency. Her uterus was at risk of rupturing. She had been to the emergency room four times in just the last month alone. She was shocked that when she went to her doctor's office in a state that she loved, that they denied her care. She ultimately lost that case in the Texas Supreme Court and was forced to travel out of state. You talk about that headline that we've heard so much about here in the most recent days in Texas. We're also seeing a woman coming to in Kentucky, mm -hmm. suing the state of Kentucky, trying to get an abortion yep. there. Is this something that you think we may start to see more and more of? And that's what advocates are saying, that Kate Cox so, uh, so certainly opened up the floodgates. And then you heard from that woman in Kentucky suing the state there for the right to an abortion, that we could see more and more women coming out of the shadows to share that the story. And for all the women that we got together in that room, there were so many more that told us they experienced the same exact thing. Some of them were very nervous to even speak up. And we even had one woman who had a medical emergency the night before her interview and couldn't come. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Fascinating reporting and uh, a much needed conversation. Had on both sides. I'm glad you brought the men in as well. Yeah. And you can see the entire Impact by Nightline special on The Brink with Rachel Scott and Diane Sawyer. It begins streaming tomorrow only on Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.